Hello everyone, it's Clary. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to do a day to light makeup look when you have a party after work and you just want to look more glamorous. So this is the look. If you are interested in it, please keep watching. First, I'm taking the Pexi Vitamin Wake Up Mist to spray all over my face. Next, I'm taking the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I never tried this foundation before. I got it from Ipsy Bad a long time ago and I almost forget it. Okay, so I kind of like this foundation. It's really hydrating to my skin and easy to blend. You see from the video. So I just used my foundation brush to put it all over my face. Mascara Cutting Pencil to do my eyebrow It's supposed to be eyeliner and I found that it's hard to smudge it So I just outlined the shape of my eyebrow here But I'm not gonna fill out my brow with this one I always like using brow gel and this one is from Benefit. You think it's smaller than you see in the shop because this one is also from Missy Bun. To the eyeshadow, I'm taking the ColourPop by Vibrity Eyeshadow Blind Light. I'm taking the shade Lasting and put it all over my lid. Using a smaller brush and taking the hairy cheek and put it at the end of my lid. This one is a whitish purple color. After I put it at the end of my eyelid, I just blend it with my eyeshadow brush. I'm taking the shade Ariel and put it in the middle of my eyes to my inner corner. This one is more like a pink champagne shade with some shimmer on it and I really like this shade. For my lower lash eye, I'm just repeating what I did to my upper lid. I'm taking the smaller brush with the shade Heron Chick and put it on my lower lash line. Now I'm using the Ella Mascara Calling Pencil to do my eyeliner. I told you before it's an eyeliner, right? But I have no idea why it cannot be drawn on my eyelid. And it's kind of easy to draw on my brow, but it's not working on my lid. So I give up. When I try to draw it harder, it still has nothing to show on my lid. And it's hurting my eyes. So I'm taking the Lucky Waterproof Pencil Eyeliner to finish it. For the concealer, I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and I put it underneath my eyes, my nose and my chin. Thing here is the brown take home the bronze to the blusher I'm using the face zero it's like a pale pink color and I really really like this it's like a rose color but in a really really pale way and I drop it after I film this video Let's move on to the highlighter. I swear this one is from Urban Decay. I get it from Ipsy but, but I don't have the package and I forgot its name. So it's like a champagne shape. I always like champagne shape highlighter. For the lips, I'm using the ColourPop lipstick. 
It's a coral pink color and I get this long time ago Mascara, I'm using the brow gel to do it Because I just want to give a big color to my lashes And just to keep it natural To finish the look, I'm using the Cup of All Star Mattify C Setting Spray. This is my second bottle already, and I love it, it's perfect. For the second look, I'm also using the Bye Bye Brady Panic, and I'm taking the shade of Blumage and put it on my outer corner and keep blending it. Taking the shade Fly by Lights with a smaller brush and put it on my outer corner. This shape is actually quite similar to the plumage one, but Fly by Lights with shimmer and plumage don't. Then I'm taking the Colourpop Perception Eyeshadow Blender and the shade is Shade. the fly by light and keep boiling it make sure there's no harsh line then I'm putting the concealer on my inner corner Spray to my finger, then I'm taking the shade of Amuse Me and put it on my inner corner. The first time I saw this palette, I already in love with this shade. Like the sparkle, come on, who doesn't love sparkle? Then I'm adding the shade of Bench to mix everything well. To the shade shape and, and put it on my outer corner again. For the lower lash light, same. Repeating what you just did on your upper lid and that's your lower lid. Then I'm putting some concealer underlay my eyes and make sure there's no glitter left on your dark eye circle. To the eyeliner, I'm using the Jonte Blur Liquid Eyeliner. At first, I'm drawing the ring, then connecting the line from my inner corner. After putting on the false lashes, I'm taking the Bella Pierre Cosmetic HD Finishing Powder to set my face. I'm using the same bronzer from the Balm and to contour my nose and my face. I'm taking the last blusher and the shade is like a deep reddish orange color. I'm using 
using the Silk Susan Cosmetic Highlighting Cream. I just use my foundation brush and put it on my cheekbones. Then I'm using my favorite Too Faced Dime Girl Mascara. For the lips, I'm using the Colourpop Creamless Lipstick. It's the Elsa collection and you can see the packaging is with this look like It's super super cute and I love it And this part is optional, I'm using the Seraphim Volatecum Lip Gels I just want my lips to look more glossy but if you don't like glossy lips, don't put it on Oh by the way, the smell of this lip gel is really really good Here's the final look. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. More videos is coming soon, so stay tuned. Bye!